You've probably heard the term bibliography before. As a matter of fact, you've probably had to complete a bibliography at some point in your academic career. So you probably already know that a bibliography is a list of the sources you've used in a research paper, project, or presentation. This list may also be called a work cited list. A bibliography follows a particular format, called a style. There are different style manuals out there, but the one we use in this class is MLA. Bibliographies are very important because using information from outside sources without citing them is called plagiarism, dear children, and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. Okay, okay, so you get it. A bibliography is important for research. But what makes an annotated bibliography different? Well, it includes the bibliography part, of course, but it also includes an annotation for each source. The purpose of the annotation is to give a brief summary of the source and some commentary about the source. Each annotation has three key elements. Number one, a summary of the information presented by the source. Number two, an evaluation of the source's usefulness in answering your research question or questions. And number three, an explanation of the type of source, including its relevance and authority. Now that you know what an annotated bibliography is, let's talk about how to complete one. It starts with recording citation information from your sources while you are actually doing the research. This includes things like author name, article title, book title, website title, publisher, URL, date and city of publication, volume or issue numbers, and the date you access the source. It's also a good idea to record annotation information as well. Recording these things while you do the research will save you a lot of work later on. The next step is to organize your source's information into an MLA formatted citation. The good news is, you don't have to memorize the MLA style manual in order to do this. There are tons of resources on the internet that can help you correctly format your citations, including the Purdue OWL website, EasyBib, and Citation Machine. On top of that, many online databases have a citation function that will spit out a correctly formatted citation in any style you choose. Okay, your citation is looking good. Now for the annotation. Directly beneath the citation, type out a paragraph including the three components mentioned earlier, a source summary, an evaluation of the source's usefulness, and the type of source. Now you have a complete annotated bibliography entry, but don't celebrate just yet. First, you need to repeat the process for any remaining sources. Then, give your annotated bibliography a good proofread to ensure you have followed MLA style exactly and there are no spelling or punctuation errors. And voila! Just like that, you've completed your annotated bibliography. Pat yourself on the back, shout it from the rooftops, and throw yourself a party. You did it! Thank you.